curveball. Hit into the air by Pisano. McElroy on the run to left center, and he will make the catch. Bangs off the wall in left center field, holds on to it. And a nice play by McElroy as that ball just kept carrying out to left center field. He's down on the ground. Get out of the park. Guerrero flips one to right field with two strikes. That's down for a base hit. Martini's throw will come into second. Clinton leads 2-0. So a two-strike hit for Guerrero, getting the job done. And it's with the hamstring injury. The 1-0 is ripped the right field. Guerrero on the run. He will not get to it. It rolls to the Xfinity side. Coming around third is McElroy. Walton into second with the RBI double, and the Chiefs are on the board. Guerrero could not hold that one in at the wall in right field. And McElroy is lined into right field and down a base hit. Walton hits the bag at third. He's coming home. The throw from Guerrero is past the catcher, and it's a 2-2 ball game. The ball was in time, but it bounced right past Marlette, and Walton slid in safely. It'll be an E9 that sends the base runner Martin to second. He's now in the is ready to take on Bear. The pitch swung on, driven to left field. Walton was playing shallow. This ball's over his head, off the wall, and Clinton does have their insurance run on a double by Bear. It's 4-2. Chiefs will have to get two bottom nine. Hit on the ground to shortstop. Bear charges, gloves, throws over, and the Chiefs are eliminated in the playoff race. A walk, runner left on. We'll go to Kane County for three more, but no chance at the playoffs for the Chiefs losing tonight 4-2. Ryan Pierce will have the post-game show for you. I'll talk to you tomorrow from Kane County at 6-15 here on the Peoria Chiefs Radio Network.